or side which is physical force, right? Yeah. Um, you said that um, parents often say, I hate you because I love and you. They often yes. hit Yes them. or no. I no, you. I did not say that. Said that I said parents, I said that parents often tell us they hit us because they love us. They hit Hit. 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 A good spanking won't kill them. As a matter of fact, it may save their lives. This is a proverb, which is Proverbs 23, verse 13. It does not prohibit physical force as a punishment. It encourages parents nor guardians to use this method of punishment since it is better than verbal punishment. Spare a rod and spoil a child. A, bl a biblical proverb, proverb that states that neglecting physical force may lead children to wrongness in their lives. If your parents spank you because you did something unethically wrong, of course you'll think twice of doing it again. But if they ignored it or just talked you into stopping doing this, will you realize what you did was wrong? Ask a kid. Now, would you rather be spanked and be disciplined? Or do you like to be unharmed and be uncivilized and spoiled? Sinabi mo di ba yung spank parang me, ano hindi ikakasama ng bata kung pinalo mo lang bakit may metro ka ba ng ano ng force mo yes. pag inis pa ko siya ano yung metro mo parang wala yes, ka naman because you can feel the pain when when you when you for example when you swat them or you can feel how painful you swat them or how painful you spank them e, paano? and the law of interaction e, paano mo? <laughs> Pagpapaluin mo siya, paano malalaman ko gano'ng kalakas na paro yung kagawin? Because of the law of interaction. Law of interaction. Paano mo nga malalaman kung gano'ng ka? You're using your hand. You can feel how painful. Mr. Speaker, tinatanong ko, paano mo malalaman? Ano yung basihan mo? Kung anong punishment yung ibibigay mo? Hindi, ano nga yung basihan mo sa pagpapalo mo palang, gagawin mo palang? Ano yung basihan mo sa punishment na ibibigay mo? Gano'ng kalaki yung kasalanan niya? Ano yun? Ano? Republic Act number 76-10. An act providing for stronger veterans and special protection against child abuse, exploitation, and discrimination, and for other purposes. This act shall be known as the Special Protection of Child Against Abuse, Exploitation, and Discrimination Act. Physical force is abuse. No, physical, physical force is never okay. You demean and belittle your child that way. It destroys the trust and respect that they have for you and replaces it with fear and hate. Never use violence as a means to get your way. You are the adult. Act like one by communicating with your voice and not with your fist. This is one where you just have to agree to disagree. I will always believe that hitting is hitting and something should, something inhumane should not be tolerated. There are always alternate ways to teach the very same lessons of which you speak. I would never advocate using physical force on kids. Rather, we need to figure out the new ways of punishing them, like keeping them, like keeping them away from their favorite activities. We need to teach them lessons of life, not to inculcate violent manners in them right from home. Their mind is so tender, you never know in what way they would take those heat. There are cases where children who face violence is indulged as violence in school. In some cases, it affects the child's mind in, in very adverse ways. 
so they need to be cared with caution. You can... Where am I? <laughs> You can always try guilt trips, the stare of death, calling them the bo that the boogeyman likes scaring away naughty children. Discipline is the key in raising a child. I never said otherwise. The fact that you have to hit the child teaches yourself nothing more than that you solve problems with violence. What does it say a child when the person who is supposed to love him more than anything in the world has to strike him to convey a point? How does that make him feel about them? What will they carry forth into the world from that experience? A clear message about how adults handle problems, that is something which can do no good in my opinion. No, I do not. Too many people believe that the word discipline is equal to punishment. It is not. Discipline, especially self-discipline, means the ability to, create, to correct choices and adhere to a system of rules. Punishment is often the quickest way to teach this principle. But it, is, but it is certainly not the best way. It can result in a child that has only learned not to get caught or to fear the parents. To properly teach discipline, you must first practice it yourself. Thank you. Child, the child, the physics, the child, the, the physical force is abuse. Yes. Yeah. Do you call this abuse? No. Physical force, the violent, the more violent one. You call that abuse? No. I said heating. Do you know what's the meaning of that? That is physical force, but that's not abuse. Oh. 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 Do you know what's the difference between heating and physical force? Telling him lies. That is a white lie. It's still a lie. It's said in the Ten Commandments. But the boogeyman, 
That'll cause psychological problems with the kids. He's gonna grow up thinking that the boogeyman is in his closet. And if he what, does something wrong like we before, the boogeyman's gonna get him. That's wrong. You should tell the kids why why that